All right, thanks, guys. Creighton takes on Michigan, 6.30 Eastern, tip-off at the uh, Chrysler Center. Michigan's minus five, totals 154. We saw a half a point move toward Michigan and movement upward on the total. The Wolverines open four and a half, up to minus five. Total open 153, up to 154. 55% of the consensus are leaning toward Michigan. 51% shaded toward the over. Right now, Creighton is plus 205 on the money line. Now, the Wolverines are 1-0 straight up on the year. Brooks dropped 24 in that game, 3 assists. Teske, 17 points, 13 rebounds. And Simpson with 8 boards and 6 points in their season opener. I'm going to lean toward the home favorite in this one. Give me Michigan minus 5 in the over 154 in that game. Next matchup, Citadel taking on Georgia. 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in that game. This is the battle of the Bulldogs, by the way. Both teams named the Bulldogs. But anyway, Georgia is minus 26 and a half, total 169 and a hook. Now we did see a one-point move toward Georgia and movement upward on the total. Georgia opened 25 and a half, up to 26 and a half. Total once again moved up to 169 and a hook. 71% are leaning Georgia, 56% shaded toward the over. And right now, Citadel is plus 6 Seven five zero oh, sixty <laughs> plus six thousand seven hundred and fifty. They're plus sixty seven fifty on the money line. Wow, uh, Georgia one and zero straight up on the year. One and zero against the spread. They beat Western Carolina in their season opener, ninety one to seventy two, successfully covering that fifteen and a half point spread. They were uh, led by Edwards, who scored twenty four uh, with nine rebounds. Wheeler had 19 with three assists, and Hammonds brought down 12 rebounds with seven points. I like Georgia in this matchup here. Give me Georgia minus 26 and a half, and the under 169 and a hook in that game. Next matchup, it is going to be Evansville taking on Kentucky. Seven o'clock Rupp Arena. Kentucky's minus 25, totals 141. We saw a half a point fade of Kentucky and moving upward on the total. Wildcats open 25 and a half down the minus 25. Total open 138 up to 141. 67% are leaning Kentucky. 61% shaded toward the over. Right now, Evansville is plus 4,000 on the money line. Now, the Wildcats of Kentucky are 2 0 straight up and 2 0 against the spread on the year. They did beat Michigan State 69 to 62 in the opener, and they also beat Eastern Kentucky 91 to 49. Maxi is averaging 18 points for rebounds a game. Richards at 14.7 rebounds a game for him. And Sestina, 9 rebounds, 10 points a game on average for him. Kentucky, 2-0 to the under on the year. Give me Kentucky, minus 25 in the under 141 in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick timeout and welcome you to the show. Got some lines of personal leads out for Tuesday's college basketball action. But before we dive into some more of that, I just want to quickly remind you to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we are 7-2 and two in our last nine board member package plays on that site. We're also hitting at 75% in our last nine NBA package plays. We do daily premium selections on that website beginning at just $1.99 per month. We have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. A lot of folks ask me, what's the main difference between Patreon and YouTube? What we do on YouTube is we pretty much handicap every single game on the slate, both the side and the total. Uh, we do it a little bit differently on Patreon where we really narrow it down and focus on three to four premium selections per day. Those are games that I personally have action on. Those are my personal plays. And so we uh, focus on a smaller sample size. And I'll tell you this much, my win percentage and my record are much better on Patreon than it is on YouTube, handicapping every single game side in total. And you can actually check out my Patreon record for free right on the homepage. All you got to do is click the link in the description section below. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some more lines and personal leans for Tuesday's college basketball action. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Missouri taking on Xavier, 7 o'clock, Cintas Center. The Musketeers are minus five and a half. Totals at 135 and a hook. We saw a two and a half point move toward Xavier. 
and movement downward on the total. The Musketeers open three, up to minus five and a half. Total open 136, down to 135 and a hook. 55% are leaning Xavier, 54% shaded toward the over. Right now, Missouri is plus 215 on the money line. Missouri's 2-0 straight up on the year, 2-0 against the spread. Tillman's averaging 15 points a game, 6 rebounds. Pinson, 12 points a game, 6 assists. And Pickett is leading the charge. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a history joke. But anyway, Pickett leading the charge with 6 rebounds. Uh, Xavier on the other side, 2-0 to the under thus far in the year. I'm going to purchase the half a point, buy it up, and take Mizzou plus 6 and the under 135.5 in that game. Next matchup, Oral Roberts taking on Tulsa, 8 o'clock Reynolds Center. The Golden Hurricane of Tulsa, they're minus 6.5 totals at 151. We saw half a point fade of Tulsa and movement downward on the total. The Golden Hurricane opened 7, down to 6.5, total open 152.5, down to 151. 55% are leaning Tulsa, 51% shaded toward the over. Right now, Oral Roberts is plus 255 on the money line. The Golden Eagles of Oral are 2-0 against the spread for the year. Burns is averaging 21 points a game, 7 rebounds for assists. Zakuski, 17 points a game, 11 boards for him. Oral Roberts is 2-0 to the over thus far of the year. Uh, I'm going to purchase the half a point, buy it up, and take Oral Roberts plus 7 in the over 151 in that game. Next matchup, North Texas taking on Arkansas, 8 o'clock Eastern tip-off uh, in that game. The Razorbacks are minus 13, totals 136. We saw a two-point fade of Arkansas and movement downward on the total. The Razorbacks open 15, down to minus 13, total open 138.5, down to 136. 56% are leaning Arkansas, 51% leaning toward the under. Right now, the mean green of North Texas, they're plus 700 on the money line. Now, Arkansas is 1-0 straight up on the year, 1-0 against the spread. They beat Rice in their season opener, 91-43, easily covering that 18.5-point spread. Jones had 32 points, 7 rebounds, 5 steals. Joe had 24 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. And Bailey pulled down 9 rebounds and 3 steals. I like Arkansas in this matchup here. Give me the Razorbacks, minus 13, and the under 136 in that game. Next matchup. Minnesota taking on Butler, 830 Hinkle Fieldhouse. The Bulldogs are minus 8, totals 136. We saw a two-point fade of Butler and movement upward on the total. The Bulldogs open 10, down the minus 8, total open 135.5, up to 136. 63% are leaning Minnesota, 64% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Golden Gophers are plus 320 on the money line. Now, if you like Minnesota in this game, just keep in mind they're taking on a Butler team who is 2-0 straight up on the year, 2-0 against the spread. They defeated IUPUI in their season opener, 80-47. to That was a 19-point spread that they easily covered. McDermott is averaging 20 points a game, 7 rebounds. Nize, 15 points a game, 11 boards for him. Now Minnesota is 2-0 to the under thus far in the year. I'm going to lean Butler Bulldogs minus 8 in the under 136 in that matchup. Next game, Murray State taking on Tennessee, 9 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Volunteers are minus 11.5, total 142. We saw a 1.5 point fade of the Vols and movement downward on the total. Tennessee opened 13, down to 11.5, total open 144, down to 142. 61% are leaning Tennessee, 72% shaded toward the under. Right now, the racers of Murray State are plus 600 on the money line. I like Murray State to get it done. I'm also going to purchase the half a point. Give me the Racers of Murray State plus 12 in the under 142 in that game. Next matchup, Hurricanes, Knights, 9 o'clock UCF. Miami's minus 2.5, total 138. So a 1.5 point move toward Miami and movement downward on the total. The Hurricanes open minus 1, up to minus 2.5, total open 138.5, down to 138. 69% are leaning Miami, 55% shaded toward the under. Right now, UCF is plus 135 on the money line. Likes is averaging 17 points a game, four assists, and two seals for the Hurricanes. Vasilevich, 12 points a game, four rebounds for the Hurricanes. Miller Jr., seven rebounds, nine points a game for the Hurricanes. I'm going to purchase the half a point, buy it down, and lean toward the Hurricanes. Give me Miami minus two 
and the under 138 in that game. And we're going to slide into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Memphis, Oregon, 9 o'clock Moda Center. Oregon is minus 3.5, total 145. We saw a 2.5 point move toward the Ducks and movement downward on the total. Oregon open one, up to minus three and a half. Total open 148, down to 145. 55% are leaning ducks, 57% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Tigers of Memphis are plus 160 on the money line. Now, Oregon's 2 0 straight up on the year. They defeated Boise State and Fresno State. Pritchard is averaging 22 points a game, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Mathis is averaging 20 points a game. Okoro is averaging 10 rebounds a game and 10 points. I'm going to purchase the half a point, buy it down, and take the Ducks minus 3 in the over 145 in that game. All right, let's go ahead and slide into our quick pick recap brought to you by Patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we are 7-2 and two in our last nine board member package plays. I'm going to lean Oregon minus 3 over 145, Miami, Florida minus 2 under 138, Murray State plus 12 under 142, Butler minus 8 under 136, Arkansas minus 13 under 136, Oral Roberts plus 7 over 151, Missouri plus 6 under 135 and a half, Kentucky minus 25 under 141, Georgia minus 26 and a half under 169 and a hook. And last but certainly not least, I like Michigan minus five in the over 154 in that game. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some shout outs. Once again, brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page. Shout out to Josh Green, Jose Ramirez, Alec Harold, Derek Slappy, Mr. Bro, Pittsburgh Gentleman PA, Ariel Perez, IMBD Truth, Ronnie Christie, 201 Lifestyle, Joaquin Hamlin, Almighty Addo TV, Shotgun Shell 80, Drew Churchill, CQP, Underboss, Vernon Williard, Janora, Michael, Charlotte P, and last but certainly not least, shout out to my man, Stephen Lewis. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we are 7-2 and two in our last nine board member package plays on that site. We're also hitting at 75% in our last nine NBA package plays on that site as well. We do daily plays on that site beginning at just $1.99 per month. We have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. The main difference between YouTube and Patreon is that what we do on YouTube is we handicap every single game on the board, both the side and the total. And if you bet that way in real life, you will lose money. You will, you will not beat the books. They're too good. There's too many games. You'll run out of money. What we do on Patreon is we really narrow it down and focus on three to four premium selections per day. Those are personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, my record on Patreon is a lot better than it is on YouTube. And you can actually check out my record right now for free right on the homepage. All you got to do is click the link in the description section below. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. But most importantly, guys, I got to thank you for tuning in right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. Happy Tuesday to you. Best of luck to you. And don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page.